This is Hart and I'm here at Tom Sawyer Park with Jody Thompson of Ecotech and he's going to talk to us about microstegium or stilt grass. Hey everybody, um, so Hart and I are out here at uh, EP Tom Sawyer and uh, wanted to introduce everyone to Japanese stilt grass, also called uh, Nepalese brown top. And for those of you uh, with more of a scientific background, the genus uh, is uh, microstegium. So if we can, if we uh, look at the forest floor out here, we see a pattern of gaps in the grasses. And normally these grasses, this rye, which is a native plant, a native grass, um, would be much thicker and really covering this understory environment. But we see the patches, and the reason we have these patches are because of an invasive grass that I just described that are out competing the native grass. So the Japanese stilt grass is getting in the way of the native rye. And essentially what happens is it grows really, really thick and it shades out any of the native seed that wanna come up. Now, for those of you who may have an opportunity to do something about this, you have two options. One is to decide if you really do have the time and resources to put what could potentially be a lot of work into it. Your two options are to use herbicide, which is effective, but you should know that you have to come back with multiple, several treatments, and you're killing the microstegium in addition to some of the other things out here in this habitat. The other option is wait for microstegium to get a little taller, put about a foot of growth on, a little bit below the knee maybe. At that point, it pulls up really easily. Now, microstegium, the seed, lasts a long time in the soil. It'll last up to seven years, uh, in some cases, maybe even a little longer. So the plan is, if you're gonna hand pull, you're gonna, you're gonna, you wanna pick a manageable area, an area you can dedicate yourself to, and either pull it up or weed eat it, and essentially you're gonna remove some of the shade on the soil and the seed that's in the ground will germinate. You let it get growth on it, and you do the same thing over and over again. If you're gonna use herbicide, you can use that same process. But what we see here is a, it's a long process that a lot of people don't wanna deal with, but the product is totally worth it when you understand the potential of this habitat, both just from a diversity standpoint, from a standpoint of increasing the amount of wildlife are out here, because of the extra plant species that will start to grow. Uh, and two, and at least simply, you'll just end up with a more attractive habitat that you can experience.